Hey everybody, it's Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to verify your website with Google Webmaster Tools so that you can tap into the wealth of knowledge that the Google Webmaster Tools provides about your website. So the first thing you need to do is open a new tab and go to webmaster.google.com and then click on the Sign in the Search Console if you don't have a Google account yet, you'll have to make one. Or if you do have one, you have to sign in to that Google account. And then to add your website, all you have to do is click on the Add Property link or button on the top right. And then type in the URL of your website. So I'm going to type in the URL of our demo site, wp-phd.com. And then it's going to ask us to verify the website. Now there's a recommended method, which is uploading this HTML file but there's also alternate methods that you can choose, which are adding an HTML tag, changing a setting in the domain name provider, using your Google Analytics account, or using your Google Tag Manager. Now the one I usually do is the recommended method. I just upload the file via FTP, or if there's no FTP access, I use the HTML tag, which I'm gonna show you how to do right now because it's, it's the easiest way. So all you have to do is copy this HTML tag into the header of your website. Or if you have a plugin like WordPress SEO by Yoast, which is a very useful plugin, does a lot of different things, you can actually just copy this part. If it lets me copy just that part. Put it up here in the URL. You actually only have to copy this part inside of the content parameter. So we copy that out. And if we go back to our site, I already have WordPress SEO by Yoast installed. You can find it in the plugin repository and I have another video actually where I show you how to install that. It's linked to below. So to do the Google verification, what you do is you hover over SEO and you click on general. And this takes us to general settings inside the WordPress SEO by Yoast plugin. And then you click on webmaster tools and then you paste in that piece of code that we just copied and we click on save changes. And when this is saved, it will automatically add that tag to the header of your website. So now we can go back here and click on verify. If everything went well, it will say it's been verified. And it worked. Congratulations, you've successfully verified ownership of that website. Then we click on continue. And here we are in the webmaster tools. You're not gonna see a whole lot at the moment because you just verified your site. It's gonna take a bit of time for Google to go and crawl your site realize that you've actually verified it and want this information. So it's gonna take a little bit, a few days, maybe a week to populate a lot of data here. And the longer you've been using Webmaster Tools, the better the data becomes just because you have a historical to look at. And so I really recommend you do this because it's, it's gonna help your search engine rankings. You're gonna find problems on your site that you didn't even know about. And I have a bunch of other videos that go through the Webmaster Tools and different areas of it that will help you level up your WordPress site. So in this video, I showed you how to verify your WordPress site inside of the Google Webmaster Tools. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you share this video and like it if it helped you. Check out our social media feeds, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and check out WP Learning Lab where we write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.